Hello everyone. Talking about the various tissues in animals, we already know about the epithelial tissues and the connective tissues. Other than these, there are muscular tissues and nervous tissues. So let us understand more about them. The muscle tissues are made of elongated muscle fibers. This tissue, as we know, is responsible for the movement in our body. The muscles contain special contractile proteins which contract and relax to cause movement. The muscles present in our limbs, that is, the muscles in our legs, hands, are the ones which we can control. That is, they can move according to our wish. These are voluntary muscles. And these muscles are mostly attached to the bones and help it movement. Hence, they are called skeletal muscles. You know, under the microscope, these muscle tissues show alternate bands of light and dark striations when stained appropriately. Hence, these are also called striated muscles. These tissues are made of cells that are cylindrical, unbranched and multinucleate. So remember, the muscles present in our limbs are skeletal muscles or striated muscles. The muscles found in stomach, intestine, iris of the eyes are involuntary muscles. That is, we cannot control them. These tissues are made of cells that are spindle shaped. That is, they are long with pointed ends and uninucleate. That is, they have a single nucleus. These muscles are known as unstriated muscles as they do not show alternate stripes when seen under the microscope as in the case of skeletal muscles. The muscles found in the heart are involuntary muscles too as we cannot control them. However, they are made of different tissues compared to the smooth or unstriated muscles found in stomach, intestine etc. These special tissues are called cardiac tissues and these are made of cells that are cylindrical, branched and uninucleate that is they have a single nucleus. So in a nutshell the muscle tissues are of three types. First skeletal or striated tissues. The cells here are cylindrical, unbranched and multinucleate. The second type is cardiac and it consists of cells that are cylindrical, branched and uninucleate. The third type is smooth or unstriated muscles and these tissues consist of cells that are spindle shaped and uninucleate. Other than the muscle tissues, we also have nervous tissues and these are the tissues that carry stimuli from and to the central nervous system. The brain, spinal cord and the nerves all are composed of nervous tissues. The cells in this tissue as we know are called nerve cells or neuron. And what is the structure of neuron? The neuron consists of a cell body with the nucleus and cytoplasm from which long hair like structures arise. Generally each neuron has a single long part which is called axon and many short branched parts called dendrite. Many nerve fibers bound together by connective tissue make up a nerve. This functional combination of nerve and muscle tissue enables animals to move rapidly in response to a stimulus. So to sum up what we have learnt, mainly four types of tissues are there in animals. These are epithelial tissue, connective tissue, muscular tissue and nervous tissues and each of this tissue is specialized in a certain kind of task. That was all for today. Bye-bye.